Fairfield County Executive Adam Ballow is calling for changes to the policies and procedures at the county's detention center after an employee was arrested for misconduct earlier this month and another was reported to law enforcement. Now the commissioner of the Department of Human Services is telling News 8 since laws were changed a couple of years ago, it's caused major problems there. Christian Garzon joining us now in studio with more. Christian. Well, Adam Ballow says this investigation is to address the changing nature of those at the center. He said many youngsters are there awaiting trial for violent crimes, some as serious as homicide. This is directly in response to two employees who were arrested and fired for allegedly inappropriate, uh, alleged inappropriate conduct and endangering the welfare of minors. It said one worker allowed two minors to slap box fight each other in a restroom and the other employee was allegedly seen hitting another in, his, in the face. Bellow did say they will not tolerate violence from either staff or the youth there. As we've said, this investigation also has to do with the youth there. Over the next 90 days, Talia Wright, the commissioner of the Department of Human Services, said this will be an across-the-board look at all regulations, policies, and training, and if the detention center should even remain under the Department of Human Services. Wright said since Raise the Age came about a couple of years ago, laws and policies have changed. Prior to Raise the Age, these violent offenders would not have been with them. Rather, they would have been in jail. When Raise the Age got implemented, um, we started to see an increase of young men and women that were charged with more intensive, um, more aggressive crimes, such as like murder, gun charges, attempted murders, um, which has contributed to longer lengths of stay with us as they navigate through the criminal justice system. Um, with that population has brought some increasing difficult behaviors to manage. Um, we have youth that themselves self-identified as being in gang affiliation, rival gang affiliation. The county executive did say to oversee the violent offenders at the CDC, it will require new training for the staff with a harder focus on public safety. Adam, Teresa, right back to you. Christian, thank you. This investigation will be done alongside the Office of Public Integrity, and we will update you on any progress or developments over at rochesterfirst.com.